Indeed, you read, you saw, and you heard correctly. You could be in the chance to win some money on the Xbox. All you have to do is a simple game of hide and seek in Conan Exiles. In this video, I am going to be starting an adventure. And I'm not going to do it just on this game. I'm going to do it on all of the survival games. So if you don't play at Conan Exiles currently, and you're going to want to get involved in this, well, you're in luck. All you have to do is simply subscribe, put on that notification bell, because remember, the first person to see the video has got one of the highest chances of finding me. Now, a lot of people know that the map of Conan Exiles that you're seeing on the screen is ginormous. Now, you can make a base. I've already made a base for you. We're going to go over that. But in that base, it's got everything equipped for you to go ahead and get your bits and bobs together to go and find me on the map. And the person who finds me first is going to get reward money. Now, I'm also going to do another way of you earning money. So, if you're not massive on the old uh, find, get paid, well, then I've got other news for you. But let's get started and I'm going to go over the rules. So rule number one is you have to like this video and you have to subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, you're not going to be in the chance to win the money on Conan Exiles or any other game. Make sure you as well then next. Number two is put your gamer tag in the comments down below, your Xbox gamer tag. So if you do find me, I know who you are and I can see that, yes, you have subscribed to my channel and that way I can allocate the screenshot that you have to send me, which is step three. When you do find me, make sure you go ahead and send a screenshot to my Xbox game tag, which is I, Deathwish I, the E is a free, and it's all capitals. All you got to do is literally send a screenshot with my body found, with you next to it, and that is enough for then you, because I might be offline, it's enough for you to then get the gift card. Uh, from that step, that's when I'll contact you and be able to send you the code. Rule number three, wait, we've done rule number three. Rule number four is no cheating or no hacking is allowed. If you do either of them two things, then it is game over for you. You're not in the tournament. And then how it works, simply because I've got some notes down here because I can't remember everything off the top of my head. It's simply load into the server. Server, I'll say at the end of the video. Maybe not. Maybe a bit close to the end, but it keeps you on it. And then you've got a search and map to find me. So just as you know, like any hunting game, just find a person, take a screenshot. Once you've found me, send a screenshot, send it to my Xbox account. So literally, I different ID is a free. All you've got to do is go to my gamer tag, send me the image to my messages, and I'll see that. And the first person to do that is the one I will then contact back, get their information to send them the reward. Now, the bonus or the benefit you could do right here is I'm frequently going to upload a video so you constantly know where I'm going, where I'm moving. I'm going to be uploading multiple videos a day, but the highest chance as well for you to look for me is to click on my video. If you put the notification bell on YouTube, then you know that when I upload, if you're straight onto that video, you're going to see where I am or where I was in that specific moment. I'm not going to make a video and then move. When that video actually uploads, is the second I move. So the second you see the video live, that is my exact spot in that second that that video went live. From the minute the video goes live, I can then move. So put that notification bell on and try and get on that video as soon as possible. So with that being said, let's go on to the game. If you've got the game pass as well, this game is free. Let's show you the base, show you where all the amenities are so you can go ahead and use them for your advantage to help you get started, maybe get some armor, get some weapons so you can head out and hunt for me wherever I may be on the map. So we're going to hit play online. PvP. The server we are is server 2205. So go ahead, get on that server as quick as possible and the adventure's about to start. I can't wait. Hopefully a lot of you get on board on this and hopefully I find a couple of you. And remember, the more subscribers I get, the bigger the reward I could do in the future. I can only do a certain amount of reward right now, but coming in the future, if we grow as a channel, remember it's all about giving back and Christmas is a time for giving. That's why I want to do these videos. The server 225. As you'll see when you start, you'll come into the part of the map. I built my base right here at the start, just so it's easy for you all. You all start literally here on the broken highway. When you're on the broken highway, you could be on any of these four broken highways here along the bottom as a spawn, but just head up to where the broken bridge is. You can see the shattered bridge, and then you will see right next to that, we've got our house, our clan base. Now, we're going to do an event later on down the line where the best house along the river is going to get another gift card, but we're going to move on to that, and we're going to do that on a complete different server that probably be a pve server so people don't fight probably going to do a fighting tournament as well for gift cards but right now we're going to start off with the hide and seek so let me show you uh one second there's a legendary shell back straight outside my base okay so when you've come off the broken highway you appear here or anywhere along the river you'll come down and you definitely can't miss it if you look up at the shattered bridge you can see that castle up there and then you've got a house just here in front go ahead it's completely open there is no doors in it i believe a team had here and they took their door off it as well 
well. So there is a bed there that's not bound, so you can probably bound yourself to that. Or you can make yourself a little uh, one-piece house like that and quickly put a bed down just to get you started on the server. Let me kill this dude, because if I don't, then he's going to be a pain. Right, now that he's dead, you'll literally come over to the house. You've got a shrine. If you do want to make a religious tool, I can't see why you're actually going to need any of this. But if you do need any of it, go ahead and use it. Go straight in. This is a PvP server, member. So if I do lock myself in a house like that, you can make an explosive and blow up the wall and get in to get to me and take that screenshot because it's going to be placed with bad weather i'm going to have to make little houses i might just uh, not put a door on it to make it a little bit fairer um but we'll see how it goes because if there's a lot of you doing this then uh yeah i'm gonna have to keep them doors on to try and make the tournament a bit more active you can come in you can dye your clothes if you want to come straight through the front door and in here you've got an artisan table you're probably not going to need but this is where you can make all fun bits for your house you got the uh carpenter's bench yet again you don't need any of this you might do maybe you want to build a house and if you do perfect at least you've got everything available for you here so you don't have to use up your skill tree unlocking all these things that unlock for everyone to use i've put the tannery here so you might want to get stronger leather to make better armor i've gone and put uh don't need that I've got a cooking table here now if you do come here there's food already in there so you can go ahead and take it but if you do need more food go and cut down a couple of bushes get some insects chuck them in here and there's plenty of fish i've made sure it's all stocked up but if you just put some more insects in there then it will uh fill that up a little bit more as well for you then you come through to the right and you've got your blacksmith armory so the armor's bench here i've got some armor pieces in the boxes next to it as well i've got some more armor pieces and some weapons you can get get ahead on that adventure if you do want to make armor you can see all the materials just down to the right of what you can make do that right there you've then got a casting table which if you want to make anything you can do that we've got in the blacksmith bench i've got a load of tools and weapons you can start off with that or you can go ahead and make yourself some completely up to you yet again then you have got your uh alchemist bench i'm actually going to be taking these heels because i'm probably going to need them and um, but let me go ahead and take them but go grab some aloe vera and make yourself some heals get your journey started easily nicely you've got a furnace as well you've got two furnaces and then you've got some wooden box here in the middle with some there should be some materials in them i don't know why but with that one's got some bark and whatnot in it and then once you've gone over the whole armory area you can literally explore the the base if you do want to go and get yourself a mount or whatnot my bedroom's over there there's some treasure in here so if you did want it be my guest or if you want to add to it also be my guest we're a community here so to help out is great and then over here you've got the tinker's bench if you want to make some armory repairs uh if you want to make yourself a saddle because you want to get yourself a horse so you can move around the map a little bit quicker you can also deconstruct certain things here so you get bits and bobs out if you want to if you've got a saddle all you have to do is let me know that you want to join the clan in the comments and i'll jump onto my partner's account and i'll make a uh, i'll invite you to the clan that way you can go ahead and chuck a horse in here get a horse make a saddle get a pet do whatever you need so you can get around the map a little bit quicker now then also on the far side of the base you saw over that side is where we just were at the stables and the house with all the workshops you've got the house that is made by my partner she had to have her own villa over here she didn't want nothing to do with mine she's like nah, your house is too small everything's too small for me i want my own villa so she's got to made her own massive villa it's in the works if you've got anything you want to add to it go ahead and chuck it in the chest upstairs i'm sure she'll appreciate it she plays it around like she said she's got a hot tub there she's got a little splash pool there with her own little private beach <laughs> She's got all her taxidermies or her animals uh, base dotted around. And then you come upstairs, you've got a clan banner. You've got the big rhino above the bed. She's asleep on the bed, so uh, don't be going ahead and touching her. I know what you're like over here on YouTube. And then, yeah, if you want to leave anything to be able to upgrade the house or give it any customizations, go ahead and chuck it in the treasure chest over there. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Let me let me know in the comments and uh, we can go and upgrade that house together. Do all them bits and bobs. So, guys, with that, the server is 2205. On the Xbox official servers. Remember, like, subscribe, put your gamer tag in gamer tag. Gamer tag in the comments down below. And uh hopefully you find me. See you soon for the next video on my current location. Peace!